Today, I would like to talk to those of you who are still using a mouse on your desktop computer. I'm hoping I can persuade you to switch to using a trackball instead. Now, I'm guessing some of you have never seen a trackball or even know what a trackball is. A trackball is used in place of a mouse. Like the mouse, it has left and right buttons. This one has a wheel, like the nicer mice have. The main difference is there's a ball on top, and you move the ball around to make the cursor move, instead of moving the whole mouse around. At first glance, this may not seem like it has any advantage over the mouse. But as it turns out, the mouse has many annoying characteristics that the trackball does not have. First, the mouse needs more space on your desk next to your keyboard. As you move the cursor across the screen, you run out of space on your desk and you have to lift up the mouse and reposition it to the other side of your little mouse space. This happens all the time, but the problem is made way worse if you're trying to select something on the screen. In that case, as you move the mouse, you have to hold the button down. Now when you run out of space, you have to lift the mouse off the table into the air, being careful not to let go of the button. This can be tricky, and I often fail at it and have to start over. Another very annoying thing that sometimes happens when I use the mouse is that I'll select the wrong item from a drop-down menu. I put the cursor on the item that I want, but the act of pushing the button can make the mouse move. And the cursor moves just before the click, and I select something I didn't want. This won't happen with the trackball. If you notice, the ball is totally isolated from the buttons. The act of pushing a button in no way will make the cursor move. Another minor annoyance with the mouse is that you're constantly tugging on the cable. The cable hangs over the back of the desk and gravity pulls on it. What I normally end up doing is I pull the mouse all the way forward and put something heavy on the cable to keep that from happening. You could use a wireless mouse, but then you have the problems associated with those, such as the battery going dead or bad reception. <clears throat> Another problem with the mouse is sometimes you move the mouse and the cursor doesn't move. This is most likely to happen with the mice that have the little rubber ball in them, the mechanical mouse. The optical mouse has partially solved the problem, but comes with problems of its own. Twenty years ago, all the mice had the little rubber ball in them. They attempted to solve the stuck mouse problem by switching from mechanical to optical means of sensing the motion. They came up with the optical trackball and the optical mouse. The optical mouse came with a special mouse pad that had a known pattern of dots on it. That mouse worked beautifully on that pad, but would not work on any other surface. You see, the algorithm for sensing motion against a known pattern of dots is easier and more robust than one which has to sense motion against an arbitrary surface. Well, guess what? Today's optical mouse has to sense motion across an arbitrary surface, and sometimes fails at it. My optical mouse has the cursor darting off to the edge of the screen at random times. This won't happen with the optical trackball. If you notice, the ball has the known pattern of dots on it. With all these reasons why the trackball is better than a mouse, why is it so many people are still using the mouse? Well, most people's first experience with a computer is with a mouse, and so they learn that. Later, if they come across a trackball, they find it awkward to use, and so they assume that somehow the trackball is harder to use than a mouse. And also, they're unaware that the trackball is better than a mouse. Well, I can tell you from experience that using a trackball is just as easy as using a mouse. Learning to use a trackball and learning to use a mouse is like learning to ride a bicycle. It's going to be awkward at first, but quickly become second nature. Many people forget that their first experience with the mouse was awkward for them, especially now that that happens around age four. There's another advantage to using a trackball, and that is if you use the trackball, you will quickly develop the skill of using a trackball. And having that skill is a good thing. As more and more people switch to using a trackball, you may find yourself having to use one momentarily on someone else's computer. Having this skill will allow you to do this with confidence, and you will impress others with your ability. In summary, the trackball is better than a mouse because it doesn't have many of the annoying characteristics that the mouse has. With the mouse, you need more space on your desk. You have to constantly reposition the mouse. This can be tricky if you have to hold the button down while doing it. Sometimes you select the wrong item from a drop-down menu. You have to constantly tug on the cable. Sometimes you move the mouse and the cursor doesn't move. As a bonus, using a trackball will allow you to quickly develop the skill of using a trackball, which could save you from embarrassment someday if you have to use one while other people are waiting and watching. So what are you waiting for? Use your mouse one last time to order a trackball online today. 
You can get a really nice trackball like this one for under $30.